Hey everyone, this is Sharon Holland Gelfand, nutritionist, author, speaker, and Arbonne Independent Consultant. I'm here today to discuss with you our 30 day healthy living program, what I love about it, why I believe it's so important for you to consider doing it, and what it means for your body, for your health, for your clarity of your the way your brain functions your whole life i'm going to share information about uh, what we remove from our bodies what we add in and more importantly why we do this and the connection that it has to our health before i do get into that i do want to share a little bit about me just in case we've never met and uh so here we are (laughs) here's a picture of my family these are my three kids And when my son, who's pictured to the left of the screen, was about 12 and a half years old, he was diagnosed with Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, and ileitis, which were all part, are all part of irritable bowel disease, which is an autoimmune disorder, which should not be confused with IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Now, I knew nothing about food. I knew nothing about nutrition. I used to be in banking. I owned my own business. Here my son gets diagnosed with this. And in addition to that, he also has allergies. He has eczema. He's tired and moody. He was a cesspool of drugs and medication for all these conditions, for his allergies, for his eczema, for the Crohn's, everything. He was on like a dozen pills. And it was really frightening. It was like this big wake-up call. And I started to do all this research online, but I wasn't satisfied with the answers that I was getting. And I kept thinking, there's got to be more. I was actually getting more confused, clicking on all the tabs and reading everything. It was like one of those, you know, my God, take me away from all this. Just give me the answer. So I did what not many people do. I decided to go back and get, go back to grad school and get a master's of science in clinical nutrition to help my son. And it was really important to me, became a a big passion of mine uh, to really help him and to find out what was going on. So here's the interesting thing. As I was learning about nutrition, and let me tell you, I thought I was the worst mother. We ate everything white, bagels and pasta and pizza. I mean, I was working, I didn't have time to cook. And of course I felt terrible guilt thinking that I was a horrible mother. But I'm also looking at this as having been a blessing in disguise because it really opened up my eyes and it helped me and it helped my family to discover the importance of proper nutrients, the importance of nutrition to our bodies. And I was able to help him heal. But here's the kicker. Along the way, I discovered that I suffered from IBS and I, well, I shouldn't say, I knew that I suffered from some of these um, conditions. I didn't realize I had IBS. But I knew I had migraines and eczema. I was constantly getting diagnosed with strep throat. I always had inflammation in my eyes and I was very achy. And I just really thought I was getting older. I mean, I'm sure many of you think that, you know, like, oh, this is just what's happening. But I didn't realize all these health issues that I had were all related to food. So between all the different doctors that I was going to, I had the neurologist giving me uh, Imatrix shots for my migraines. I had a medication for my eczema. I was taking antibiotics for the strep throat. I was putting these medicated creams on my eyes for the the eye inflammation. I was taking these antacids for my IBS. I mean, imagine, I'm sure some of you are probably sitting there thinking, oh my God, that's me too. But I thought I was healthy. I compartmentalized everything and never realized how it was all connected and how much it came down to food. So to me, this is my passion now that I work with people to get their life back on track and to get their health back on track. And there's just so many things about Arbonne's program that really are fantastic. But I want you to think about you. I want you to think about what you're experiencing. Because, you know, it's great I shared about what my background is, and maybe some of you connected with that. But think about all these different things. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you have fibromyalgia. You have uh, Epstein-Barr. You've got, you know, some sort of a diagnosis that's kind of like this evasive, elusive diagnosis, and you're wondering, what can I do about it? And, you know, maybe you have the kidney stones, acne, dark circles. You might have type 2 diabetes. You might have metabolic syndrome, high blood pressure, so many of these ailments. And you probably or may be thinking, you know, what if this can be or is related to food? What if there's something I can do about this? And I just want to tell you that there is because all of this is a result of inflammation, Did you know that 70 to 80% of your immune system is found in your gut? 
I didn't know that. I, God, I had no idea what that was. But when you think about our gut is the heart of our body. And if we don't take care of it, it's going to react and it's giving us these signals. Our body's talking to us, but nobody's paying attention to any of this. Not at all. You know, and here, if we don't have enough nutrients or, you know, we might be exposed to the environmental toxins, medications, a bad diet, uh, you know, emotional and physical stress, all of these things are really causing havoc on our bodies. And, you know, as we go through all of this and realize that this inflammation is leading to, you know, colon, breast, and lung cancers, it's leading to cardiovascular disease and IBD. You know, all of this, think about the antibiotics that you or your kids may have taken over the years. You know, antibiotics are meant to kill the good bacteria, which they do. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, they're, they're meant to kill the bad bacteria, <laughs> which they do. But they also kill the good bacteria, which is a really big concern because it doesn't discern in your body between the two. And when you're killing all these good bacteria in your bodies, then it's compromising everything else. And, you know, it's not just the medications. It's what we're putting on our skin. And, you know, I mentioned a a few minutes ago uh, environmental toxins. And think about chemicals that are used on furniture cleaning or chemicals that are used in new furniture. I just have to tell you a quick story. A good friend of mine who considered herself to be very healthy, sold her house, moved into an apartment with her husband to, you know, they rented, they were deciding what to do next. And in a matter of two weeks, she got sick and she had no idea what it was. Her thyroid was out of whack and she was tired. She was at brain fog. She was clueless and she was a pretty healthy person. Exercise, she ate right. And everything was falling apart in her body. She couldn't wake up. She couldn't fall asleep. She was just going crazy. Do you know what? It turned out to be the chemicals in the carpet, the chemicals that they were using in the apartment. And I didn't even know about this until weeks later. And she's been going to all these different doctors. And my point in sharing this is that it could be something that seems so benign that could be setting off your body and creating this this you know chemical this reaction like a domino effect it could be the stress and all these cortisol levels that are throwing our bodies off center making them acidic which you know would which just leads to more disease so our bodies need to be somewhere in a neutral state but everything that i've just discussed leads us more towards an acidic state versus the more healthy alkaline state. And in addition to that, our bodies really need to learn how to regulate our blood sugar. So, you know, if you think in the afternoon when your blood sugar drops, you know, at two or three o'clock, you're feeling, oh my God, I need that cup of coffee. I need the diet soda. I need something for that quick energy. It's because you're not getting the right nutrients at your meals that are keeping you satiated, that's keeping your blood sugar sa- uh, stable. And so when you have these, you know, these peaks and these valleys, it really starts to create havoc on your on your system and it starts to well not starts to but what you know your your pancreas starts releases insulin which is a hormone that's produced by the pancreas and insulin helps to regulate the levels of glucose glucose or blood sugar so it either turns the glucose into energy or it stores it in your muscles your fat cells your liver to use later when it needs it And insulin is needed to help move the blood glucose into your cells to use for that energy, right? So normally, the body makes as much as it needs, and it happens automatically. But if you have type 2 diabetes, which means that you have problems with your insulin, your body's not making what it needs, or it's not working as well as it properly should. So you want to think of insulin as the key that's unlocking the door. And if it unlocks the door, then, you know, the insulin is able to get to the cell. The glucose can move from the blood into the cell to provide it with the energy. But if your insulin levels aren't opening all the cells, all the keys to the door properly, your levels start to rise. And you can then, what happens is, you know, you'll have metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, and these can all be corrected from food. So it's just that imbalance. So if you go back to looking at the inflammation of when things are wrong and all these triggers that are happening and what they're creating, you can actually do something about it. And what we do is we uh, we decrease that inflammation by balancing the blood sugar and by bringing in proper nutrients. 
into our bodies. You know, diabetes is a growing problem. Insulin resistance can occur among the thin people too. So don't think that just because you're thin, you're going to escape this. It does not discriminate. None of these diseases discriminates and it can happen to anybody. So keep that in mind. So with that, I want to talk to you about what the program is and why uh, we need to create, build a better and more solid immune system and how we do it through food. So this is not a rapid weight loss program. It's not deprivation based. It's not, you know, liquid detox, you know, one size fits all. You're not going to fit into your bikini tomorrow. <laughs> so if you're expecting that, I can tell you right now, this is not the place for you. If you're looking for a program that's going to reveal foods that are sabotaging your health and the foods that are going to reset your metabolic thermostat, if you're looking to reduce your food cravings, if you you want healthy, glowing skin and you want new habits, then you are definitely in the right place. It's about getting healthy first and then losing weight because you don't lose weight and then get healthy. You have to get healthy first. And we do it through these the key principles of health, which are eating clean, increasing your nutrient intake, eliminating these addictive, acidic, allergenic foods, balancing your blood sugar, and supporting these elimination organs, the skin, the lungs, the uh, your kidneys, your, your liver, your bowel. It's about food coming first and removing the refined sugar, the dairy, the gluten, the soy, the coffee, the alcohol, the corn. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, oh my God, she's telling me I have to remove all of this. Well, what am I supposed to eat? I don't wanna do all of that. I promise you, stick with this video. Just keep watching because I will share with you what we are going to be adding in, but I wanna talk about what we need to remove first and why. And the first biggest offender is gluten. Gluten creates inflammation. It acts like a glue, not only in the intestinal villi, which are kind of like these little hair-like things that are attached to your intestines that help to keep out the bad and keep in the good. And But if it gets compromised, it opens up and gaps are created, which creates this leaky gut syndrome where things are flowing out into your bloodstream that shouldn't be flowing out. But in addition, gluten, this um, this glue, this gliadin, this protein that is in the gluten is also being implicated in Alzheimer's. And interestingly, a few months ago, I was talking to a neurologist, actually my, <laughs> my neurologist, uh, who... Uh, you know, it helped me with my migraines originally before I discovered that it was food related and stress related. But I was speaking with him and he said that they're really actually becoming very concerned about gluten because research is showing that it is affecting Alzheimer's patients, that it is killing off the neurons in our brain cells and synapses. It, it's it's scary. And it's really found in basically everything in our products. It's found in skincare. So for those of you who are celiac and you're watching your food, but you're still feeling symptomatic, it might be in your skincare, which I would say, look at our bond because we are gluten-free. Now, the next item is dairy. Dairy is acidic, and what it does, now this is interesting, pay attention, it triggers a biological correction. So what that means is that because it's acidic, in our bodies, our body is trying to neutralize this pH. So what it does, it goes to our bones and leaches the calcium from our bones to try to uh, neutralize the milk. Now, think about that neutralize the milk, but where aren't we supposed to get calcium from our milk? And now, wait a minute, how come people are, there are more incidences and bigger uh, diagnoses of osteoporosis? What is going on here? You have to understand that there is a connection between all the foods that we're eating, between uh, everything that we're doing and the increase in, in, in disease that has been happening because of our food supply. And dairy contributes to acne because of the IGF hormone leading to our skin to produce excess uh, sebum with the oils. And also, I don't know how many of you sing or you have kids who sing, but my kids sing. Two of them were in chamber choir. And I remember when, you know, before the performances, the, the chorus teacher would tell all the kids two days before, don't drink or eat any dairy, stay away from pizza because it creates this mucus that affects their vocal cords. So there's really something to be said. And when we think about needing milk because we need calcium, 
Look at this in the screen chart here. You can get more calcium in an ounce of sesame seeds than in a cup of milk. And the other thing about milk and dairy, especially if you're drinking conventional milk, or all the hormones and the antibiotics that are being pumped into the cows, and these can lead and lead to breast cancer. So it's really, really frightening, and it's really something that you have to pay attention to, and you have the control to do something about. The next two things are corn and soy. Both of these are genetically modified and often hidden, especially corn. You know, it's not just the high fructose corn syrup. It's found in breads and yogurts and salad dressings and canned fruits. It's found in ketchup. You know, it's corn flour, it's corn starch, it's dextrose, it's in vegetable oils. If you are what you eat, and especially if you eat industrial food, as 99% of Americans do, what you are is corn. I don't know how many of you have seen Food Inc. by Michael Pollan. and ta- Not by Michael Pollan. He contributed uh, to Food Inc., but it, or read any of his books, but it's it's actually scary, which is why I am so passionate about sharing and educating this with people with anyone. And soy contains phytoestrogens that mimic the effects of estrogen. It's frightening. I was at a store the other day and I was talking to a woman about a 30 day program and she was talking about how she knew that she needed to do something and she thought that she would start eating a tofu and soy because that's healthier. And she was going through menopause and all of a sudden she got her period and she couldn't understand it and realized that it was coming from the soy. And here you can see Dr. Mercola states, drinking two glasses of soy milk daily for one month has enough of the chemical to alter a woman's menstrual cycle. Kind of frightening, isn't it? So we have to do and think about food coming first, adding in alkaline forming foods to neutralize our bodies, to make it more um, alkaline. And that's all the colors of the rainbow, the dark green leafy vegetables, and you have different levels of alkaline, and we teach you in the program how to put it all together. And all the foods that we are going to include, you know, there are all different types of gluten-free grains like quinoa and millet, and you can have uh, wild rice and you're eating good fats. If you eat good fats, it keeps you full. If you're eating the right foods, you're going to be fuller for longer. So you're really adding in a lot of the healthy foods and you're eating meals. And we're increasing our nutrient intake by filling our plate with whole real foods and, you know, eating uh, nutrient dense foods that are going to make us healthier. Um, You know, here, and this is very interesting little uh, tidbit, Can't we just eat our vitamins? Modern farming methods have depleted the mineral content of our soil. So in 1966, 100 gram servings of green beans provided 56 grams of calcium. Calcium. In 1999, the same serving of green beans only provided 37 grams of calcium. So you can see how it's really important to eat nutrients, especially as organic as possible, but also to take your supplements that uh, you need to support uh, your proper health. So what do we do that with? We do that with uh, and in conjunction with Arbonne's nutrition line, which is dairy-free and soy-free and gluten-free. I absolutely love this. Uh, So much I love about their products. And I'm very picky as a nutritionist because I want to make sure that it's something that I can give to my clients. So like I said, gluten-free, no GMOs, it's vegan, no artificial co- colors, dyes, or flavors. It's even kosher certified. We source our raw ingredients worldwide, and we do front and back end testing, which means that Arbonne tests the raw materials. They screen it for all the toxic residues and pesticides and anything that is foreign. And then we also test the formula on the back end to make sure that the ingredients are synergistic and don't cause a reaction. That is really, really important. We have a third independent, third party, an independent company who does this. And it's so important because we're not just looking at the ingredients, we're looking at how they all work together. So this is also uh, this, the, in the, excuse me, the products don't have any trans fats or saturated fats. Uh, obviously, since we're vegan, there's no animal products or byproducts, no, uh, I think I said no dairy. We're low glycemic, which is important. So if you or someone you know has type 2 uh, diabetes, they can use this. They really don't have to worry. 
But let me also uh, mention that uh, and state that if you are on any medications, if you do have type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure or anything, anything at all, please, please consult with your doctor. Because if you're not sure of the ingredients in the products, you know, you want to make sure you show them to your doctor. Make sure there aren't any counterindications with the herbs because we do have our um, herbs in our products. And make sure that you share this with your doctor. You have to go to your primary care physician because while I am a nutritionist, I am here right now and what I'm sharing with you is informational and educational only. I'm not here to diagnose anybody who is watching this video. So if you have any questions, please go back to your primary care physician so that you can go through all of these herbs and make sure that they're all uh, that they're all healthy, uh, that you can use them with your medication. So what I want to do now is go through the products that come with the 30-day program. And the first one is the Arbonne Essential Protein Shakes. It has 20 grams of vegan protein, which is beautiful. That's just about the amount that you really need for an average meal. Now, mind you, if you're working out really intensely, you know, you, your individual needs might be greater. But the average person needs about 20 grams of protein. And it's the complete amino acid profile, which is so important because amino acids are the building blocks of the muscles. Our muscles need that. It's the building blocks of the protein. There's no derivatives. It has alfalfa, CoQ10, flaxseed. Um, you know, a little thing about CoQ10 also. If you know anybody who's taking any cholesterol lowering medications, statins or anything, you should talk to them and have them talk to their doctor about supplementing with CoQ10 because uh, that's an important um, component of what your body needs to produce energy in your body. So I could go on about that, but that's a conversation for a different day. <laughs> I, I tend to go on tangents and I want to stay focused. <laughs> the next thing is Digestion Plus. Digestion Plus is a great product because uh, most importantly, it's a patented uh, probiotic product that has 11 digestive enzymes that help promote digestion and nutrient intake. It has a prebiotic, and the probiotic and the enzymes. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with enzymes, they're important for digestion and they start in your mouth. Digestion starts with the amylase enzymes. It starts to break down the carbohydrates. And as we age, our ability to produce enzymes decreases. So it's important to get enzymes from an external source. And this is great because uh, this survives the gastric juices in the stomach, so they're very beneficial and very beneficial to um, to your body. The next thing is the detox tea. I love, love, love. This is definitely one of my favorite products because it has nine botanicals that help support kidney and liver function. So remember I talked about uh, the different key components, <clears throat> excuse me, of our, the key principles of health, eating clean, increasing the nutrient intake, eliminating the allergenic foods, balancing our blood sugar and helping to support our elimination organs, the detox tea helps to do that in a gentle way. So you don't have to worry, you're not running to the bathroom, it's gently cleaning out the pipes. Think of your body, think of your body as pipes that have gotten clogged and the only way to unclog them in a healthy way is to give it the right um, cleanser to just move things through, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and you can have this hot or cold, and the key ingredients, uh, the milk thistle, the couch grass, the sarsaparilla, peppermint dandelion, all great at supporting the toxin elimination. The seven-day body cleanse we do in our third week of the program, and again, when I say the body cleanse, when I say detox, don't let that frighten you, because people automatically think, oh my God, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. You will not be running to the bathroom, I promise you. These are gentle ways that assist in just removing the toxins. And you have all of these ingredients, the, astral, um, the astragalus that improves immune function, aloe vera helps to relieve digestive issues, nettle leaf provides detoxification of chemicals, the slippery elm bark is great for the inflammatory bowel conditions, and you know, interestingly, I do give my son, because of his IBD, some of um, a more nutraceutical grade supplements, which have some of these. So, you know, these are great ingredients for support for your body. And the chlorella, which removes toxins, chlorella is 
uh, it's very similar to our blood plasma. So it's just helping to move everything through and clean out our insides. The next item is Fiber Boost. Ha! Huh. Did you get enough fiber today? So I wish I could see all of you and ask you to raise your hands if you know how much fiber your body is, how you're supposed to have daily. The problem is that we don't get enough fiber, most of us, and I hear constantly from clients of complaints of being constipated. You're constipated because your body's acidic. You're constipated because your body's inflamed. Adding fiber to it helps to um, improve elimination. It helps to keep your blood sugar stable. It binds to heavy metals and toxins, and it stops reabsorption and recirculation of toxins. So women should be getting at least 25 grams of fiber, and men should be getting around 35 to 40 grams. Women, 25 to 30 grams. I'm telling you, we get nowhere near that, because if you look, an apple with skin, three grams, a pear, like all of these things, how much you would have to eat <laughs> to get your fiber. So by taking the fiber boost, it, it fulfills half of your daily intake of your fiber, uh, you know, nutrients that you need for the day. So that's really, really important. And the last thing, another one of my favorites, are the energy fizz sticks. And uh, people do say this, they break up with their barrister because caffeine is definitely one of the high, um, the, the more difficult things for people to remove. People get headaches, they get jittery, um, they get the shakes. They A lot of people do, they, they're, they're like, no, I can't give up my caffeine. So here's the thing. Yes, caffeine's acidic. It's only for 30 days. And I'm telling you, all you need to do is try these fizz sticks because they're going to help you to, um, to recover from that, basically. Not only are they alkaline forming, but the ingredients, the green tea extract, uh, which is a potent uh, antioxidant, the EGCG, the B vitamins, everything that's in them gives you the energy you need. And yes, it does have natural caffeine in it from the guarana and green tea. It doesn't give you the jitteriness. It helps to boost your metabolism. It helps to balance your blood sugar. There's no artificial anything in it. I think there's like a less than a gram of sugar. And I have these with me all the time. Like you, I'm always in a rush. We have no time for anything. And I'm not always prepared. You know, listen, it's not about perfection. And I do have my days where I'm so thankful at least that I have this. I pop their, uh, it's powder form. I um, pour it into my water bottle, shake it up, and I have uh, a great drink that just wakes me up, it clears my brain, and it gives me better cognitive function. I absolutely love it. My kids use it, and I have another tip for you. Great for jet lag. My son uh, travels now for work, and he, he uses this to help him to recover, to get rehydrated, and to recover from any jet lag, so I, it's, I love it. Now, uh, with everything, I don't think I told you what you get of each. So you get two boxes of the fizz, one pomegranate, one citrus. You get um, one container of the fiber boost, two boxes of tea, those, the body cleanse. You get two bags of the protein, one vanilla, one chocolate. What a lot of people do is they mix it together. Uh, and that really lasts you a long time, especially if you're only going to be drinking one shake a day. Then you'll have those shakes for much longer than a, a month. So what does a sample day look like? I tell people to replace their breakfast with a protein shake because you're going to get the protein, you add the fiber boost, the digestion, throw in a dark, a uh, handful of dark green leafy vegetables, maybe some coconut oil, some berries, put it in a blender, throw it into a canteen, uh, and, and take it with you. And if you need to make it the night before, you make it the night before, but it's a great breakfast that keeps your blood sugar stable. The thing is with each meal is to have protein, carbs, and a good fat to keep your blood sugar stable and to keep you full so you don't get that brain fog. And you, we eat every three to four hours. So this is just a sample of what we do during the day, uh, during the month. Uh, these are just a couple of results of some pictures of before and after. The woman on the right did this for um, over the course of a year and lost a lot of weight. So these are some, you know, just some pictures. And then I want to share some testimonials from other people. Uh, so Sarah said on the left, the first thing about the program that she noticed was she was never hungry. 
And then after about the third day, my body felt more efficient, less inflamed, and some of the aches and pains that I'd had were considerably diminished. She thought the protein shakes were delicious and that the recipes were really quick, easy, and regular. She didn't feel deprived. The family liked the meals. Managing her health in an appropriate way did not feel like a diet because it's not. This is about a shift in habits that lead to long-term benefits. I really love what she wrote here. And the best side effect is that you lose weight. She was so excited that she fit into a pair of jeans that she wasn't able to wear. So she shared this bragging moment that the 23-year-old babysitter walked in when her and her husband were ready to go out on one of her infrequent date nights. <laughs> and the babysitter stopped dead in her tracks and exclaimed, wow, you look amazing. Enough said, you feel good. Uh, Leslie considered herself very healthy, but after doing, the, and she was, she is very healthy, but she realized after doing this, her complaint before the program was brain fog. And just after a week of being on the program, the brain fog was gone. She had more energy. She was never hungry and her eyes actually looked brighter. See, sometimes people don't even do it for the weight loss. They're doing it because there's something off in your body. Now the next one, Fiona, has chronic inflammation, which sometimes leads to very uh, to severe, really severe aches and pains, particularly when she gets up in the morning or from sitting for a while. And it took the 30-day program for her to really understand that 90% of what it all was was caused by food sensitivities. Now she feels so much better and she knows which foods affect her joints. Because at the end of the program, I teach you what to do and how to reintroduce foods so that you can pinpoint and pay attention to what your body needs. See, our bodies are well-oiled machines. They know what they need and they're constantly sending us signals. But if we're not paying attention and we don't know what signals to look for, then we're missing the boat. You know, we're just missing it completely. So as far as the price and the cost, if you were to go get a protein box at Starbucks and a grande and a protein smoothie, you know, it's like over $17. And yet the cost of our bond is half that price, but you're getting twice as much. So let me ask you, what will your health look like three or five years from now if you keep doing what you're doing? How much do you spend on health insurance? And you know, you are going to pay for it some way, shape or form. You're either going to not think about what's ailing you right now. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep ignoring until one day you're at the doctor and they diagnose you with something. They run blood tests. They run this. They run that. They put you on medication. And a few thousand dollars later, you're wondering what the heck just happened. I should have done X, Y, and Z sooner. Yet with doing this by taking action now, you are being proactive. So I really encourage you to do something about it now. You know, I want you to think about flying on an airplane. I actually should have put some visuals in here about that. Think about the the flight attendants. As you're they're pulling back and taxiing to take off, they go through their whole protocol, right? Of the um, where the exit signs are and the the uh, put your seat back up and the, all that stuff. They say that if there's a change in air pressure, the oxygen masks are going to release. And then I wish I could see you right now because I'm sure all of you, I, somebody would say this, what is the first thing that they say? Put it on yourself first before assisting others. If you don't help yourself first, you have no use to your spouse, to your kids, to your family, to your friends, to your coworkers. If you don't have a healthy gut, if you don't have a healthy body, body and you're not getting the proper nutrients, how can you possibly think clearly? And if you're not thinking clearly, how can you truly live a, a full life? You can't. So what is your health worth? Isn't it time to make a change? Isn't it time for you to do something about it? We are bombarded with daily messages from the advertising community that make us think about all these products and condition us to eating certain foods. And those foods are leading to all of these problems. So my, I, I'm here to wake you up and to tell you to do something about it. It's all about feeling better and feeling more fit and fueling your day and, you know, slowing down aging, having more energy. Do you want to have energy for your kids, for your grandchildren? You know, it's it's about being more and being better and improving. Not about being perfect, but about improvement. Anyone can really do anything for 30 days. So would you be willing to do what it takes if you could have all these things? 
We offer an amazing support system, a whole step-by-step how-to guide. You get all of these supplies. There's a private Facebook community where we share questions, challenges, recipes every week. There are new recipes. There's grocery lists. There's food ideas. Uh, you have your personal consultant to help you along the way. And what's even better is that friends love to do this together. Friends don't let free friends detox alone. And I'm sure that you probably know one or two people who would benefit. So I encourage you to really think about this and join our next Detox Bootcamp. It starts every first Monday of the month. It is completely online. It's always there and you can do this anytime that you want. We also have a referral system, a referral program that, um, that we can tell you about. So what's your next step? If someone invited you to watch this, go back to that person and ask them to share with you the pricing, ask them about the referral program. Once you purchase your program, once you purchase the products, your consultant will add you to our private Facebook group. If it's with me, I will add you. And then we'll get started. I usually start a few days before the the you know the first of the month to get people going with their lists and to get them prepared and to get people excited. And you're gonna get daily online coaching. Remember, it's the first Monday of every month. Now for those of you who just happen to find this and were not introduced uh, by somebody else or uh, and we, ha- you and I haven't met, then I encourage you to click on the link below and go to SharonHolland.com forward slash 30 day underscore bootcamp. Click on that link and it's going to take you to my website and you're going to scroll down and you're going to fill out this form and in the message, you'll tell me that you saw this uh, video and that you want to join and leave your phone number and we'll set up a time. I'll set you, send you my calendar and we'll set up a time to talk so that you could get started. Now remember, this is about you. This is about you living your best life. And I have to tell you, again, this was my son's diagnosis was the best thing that ever happened to us. I have to say, you know, it really woke me up and made me realize that everything that had been going on was so related to food. And we live now a fuller life. Our communication is so much better. Our relationships are so much better. It's beyond food. It's like, imagine a bigger life from all of this. So here's to your new healthy lifestyle. Come join us. I really look forward to meeting you. And thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this. Feel free to share it with others. and. I will see you in our next group. Have a great day.